talking IRL. Welcome home. It's finally making this happen. <laughs> How Are is you your trip as nervous back? as I am? Oh. <laughs> you first. You. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's gonna be like all night? We did better texting. Maybe we should pull out our phones. <laughs> well, then we'd be looking down all evening. I wouldn't be able to look into those beautiful eyes. <laughs> Was that cheesy? But effective. Your trip sounded like a success. Yeah, it was. We were able to do a lot of good for the vets. Was it hard going back? At first. Working with the wounded veterans always brings me right into that place. In pain, uncertain of the future. But one of the guys came up to me and told me that seeing me thrive after my injuries, it showed him what was possible. So, because of guys like him, I keep going back. It's incredible. How affirming. Yeah, for them and for me. I'm not gonna lie, they'll have to clear some hurdles, have to believe in themselves, not give up and do the work, but they can clear those hurdles. Like you have. Oh, well, it's still not that easy. In fact, can I make a confession? On Valentine's Day, I knew you hadn't clocked my prosthetic legs. And I should have told you that evening, but I chose not to because we were having such a nice time. Instead, I chose to tell you through text, which was nerve-wracking and a bit dishonest. I didn't feel it was dishonest. Why didn't you tell me that night? Did you think I'd be turned off? It's happened before. I'm sorry some people are like that. I wasn't turned off. If anything, I was in awe of your bravery. And I understand why you'd want to hold back disclosing deeply personal matters at first. After all, we barely knew each other's names. We didn't know we'd keep in touch like we have or form any kind of relationship. Are you nervous when you told me? Terrified. That's how I knew I really liked you. I've worked hard to be proud of who I am and the many challenges I've navigated to live my truth, truly be who I'm meant to be. But I have to admit, I would have been devastated if you decided dating a trans woman was a deal breaker. Missing out on you would have been my loss. And mine, if I'd rejected you because you don't have the legs you were born with. Well, I know our situations aren't the same. I don't have to worry about violence against me or actual laws being passed to curtail my rights. But do worry about not being seen. It's everything, right? All people want is to be seen for their individual inherent beauty and dignity. And be accepted. And loved, if it's in the cards.